Good morning, everybody. It's a cold one today. You need to pay attention to today's forecast. I'm Ann McCloy filling in for Holly Thompson this morning. Welcome to Channel 4 News Today. We begin this half hour with breaking overnight news. It involves a Metro police officer. I just pulled this arrest warrant, found out a man is in jail for allegedly assaulting an officer who pulled him over, and this is where it happened. 41st Avenue. Just got some new information. We learned the identity of the alleged gunman. Take a look. 28-year-old Thomas Barnes from Lebanon. 635 now. If all goes according to plan soon, all children in Davidson County will be able to attend pre-K programs. Folks to the northwest of Nashville really need to be prepared for the worst part of the storm. Yeah. We have a breaking update, Ian. We now know two people were injured in the explosion. Both have been taken to local hospitals in Kentucky, and this is one of the homes destroyed in the blast. You can see the foundation right here, and it looks like this is another home or barn that caught fire. We have some breaking school news actually for Metro students. We've just learned that Metro will release two hours early today because of this pending ice storm. Check out some of these new photos from Texas. Look at the roads there covered in ice. Hard to believe it was 80 degrees in Dallas just yesterday. And here's some new video into the newsroom. They're waking up to frozen windshields. Several news outlets in Missouri are reporting Haley Owens' body has been found this morning and that police now have a man in custody. The 10-year-old went missing last night. The Ukrainian capital is on fire this morning. There are many cancellations this morning and a travel nightmare for so many trying to get around the southeast this morning. Two very active situations going on right now, about 20 miles from where I'm standing. There's an active search for Holly Bobo. The majority of the problems we're seeing are due to down trees. About a dozen down trees reported in this area of Franklin. Check out this one behind me, massive. You can see where it snapped in half. I could hear those gunshots clear as day, and I live about a half mile from the scene. Four shots, one right after the other. Scuba diving inside. Great for a day where it's been snowing. It's very cold. This water, 89 degrees. So if I fall in, we're all good. I'm going to be okay. Everybody's just trying to stay warm this morning. And if you are behind on your electric bill, worried that you may get your heat shut off, the best advice we're hearing is to call your electric company. Let them know what's going on this morning. Now, a man who police believe is a thief is on the run this morning after crashing his car overnight. Channel 4's Adrian Flores is live this morning. She has all the video. Adrian, tell us what happened here. Breaking national news. Virginia's attorney general says the state's ban on gay marriage is uncomfortable constitutional and he will no longer defend it in court. The announcement was made just moments ago. Virginia has emerged as a critical state in the nationwide fight for same-sex marriage. Two stores in Hermitage have been shut down for allegedly selling synthetic marijuana used in e-cigarettes. Officers rated the first discount tobacco and beer. 616 with the threat of terrorism hanging over the Olympic Games in Sochi. The United States is now stepping forward to make sure our athletes stay safe overseas. Wait. Something to look forward to in February, but of yeah. course, uh, just it's kind of crazy with all these threats yeah, surrounding the Olympics. We're going to follow around. that one uh, very closely. We all have to pay back the uh, college loans. We were just talking about this. We were just talking about how <laughs> nice it is, you know, to to think about paying those off mm -hmm. for good. So you probably feel us when you hear this next story. Yeah, one student in Utah picked an unusual way of showing his frustration with the tuition office, Luke Mahal. He walked into the University of Utah main office. He had a briefcase full of one dollar bills. He goes up to the counter. He paid his tuition one dollar at a time. We've got a lot of big stories for you that we're following. The story of a young boy who acted well beyond his years. How an eight-year-old paid the ultimate sacrifice to save his entire family. And parents, you'll need to hear this before you put your kids in the car this morning. A new study shows your child's car seat may not be as safe as you think. Plus, breaking news involving country superstar Kenny Chesney. All that and much more straight ahead. A difficult day for students, parents, and teachers at two metro schools. He was only nine, and my nephew is eight years old, so I'm like, I'm trying to compare them. You know, I'm like, that could have been my nephew. Nine-year-old Christopher Ellison had recently switched from Robert Churchwell Museum Magnet School to Napier Elementary. He loves to go to school. He loves school. He was killed Halloween night after riding his bike into a fallen power line. For the first time tonight, Christopher's mom and aunt are sharing concerns about the line that fell. What we can't get past on that is that the neighbors have told us that that thing had been hanging loose. So when the tree limb fell, it pulled it down. 
it was an accident waiting to happen. Metro Development and Housing Agency says there had been no prior complaints about low-hanging lines in the area and says the maintenance team never noticed a problem. Nashville Electric says the line that hit Christopher was one of 50 that fell during the Halloween storm and sent condolences to the Ellison family. It's still hard for Christopher's mom to talk about what happened. Well, that was kind of awful for her to run out there and see it and couldn't pick him up because it was still on him and the wire, you know, was on. The bike was on it and the electricity was coming from the bike onto him. Christopher had just had his face painted during a Halloween party at his church. The family was visiting a neighbor's apartment in Napier Homes when Christopher went to play with friends just a few doors down. A tragedy that has touched families at both of Christopher's schools. And I give out all of my prayers and my love and my kindness. The house that caught fire is about a mile up this road, which is usually dry, but because of all the rain overnight, it looks like there's a river running right through it. The flowing water acted as a barrier between Harvey and Johnny Moore's burning house and the firefighters who were coming to save it. Well, they lost everything. 32 years we've lived, they lived there. I've lived ever since I was four years old and we lost everything. The couple and one of their daughters was home when the fire started around four this morning. Smoke alarms woke them up. They ran outside, called 911. Harvey burned his feet trying to put the fire out himself while waiting for help. But the family says firefighters didn't show up for over an hour. We built the house. We were kids. I was 11 and we logged it and cut the lumber and hammer all the nails in it and it's all gone. Firefighters came the direct route up McLaren Hollow Road, but they stopped at the floodwaters edge. What took so long? Firefighters had trouble finding the alternate route. They ain't but eight miles up the road. Then 911 said they couldn't find us. And we have a 911 address. I don't see what the problem is. The water was so deep, even our news car couldn't get through. The Moore's friends also had problems. I'm trying to get to them to, to bring them coats and some food. And what's been the problem? Uh, I'm not sure how to get around the other way. <laughs> Their daughters say efforts to fix the problem road have been fruitless. And the county won't fix the road. When it rains, it does this every time it rains. A childhood home, a lifetime of belongings. Their daughter's car reduced to ashes. Then I'm just glad it just stayed at the one house and didn't jump the creek and burn my other sister's house down or my brother's across the road. Now they can only pray it doesn't rain the next time there's an emergency. In Hickman County and McCloy, Channel 4 News.